we go. Mr. Morgan! Hello. Here I am, as promised. Captain Monroe? Of course. The Chief's going out trying to find medications. It's quite a business. Yes. Thought we were through with all of this. Well, we are, mostly. Colonel Favors seems to think the natives have broken some promise they never made, and apparently he's punishing them by withholding vaccines sent down by the federal government. Really? I was supposed to oversee the administration of vaccines. Now I hear the wagon's been diverted. Why would he do such a thing? <sighs> to be honest, I truly don't know. They say he didn't have a very good war, so maybe he's trying to start another one. Is that what you think? I'm trying to find out, and he knows I'm trying to find out. He'd love to provoke me almost as much as he'd love to provoke these poor bastards. Meaning? Meaning that despite the fact that I think he's a horse's ass, he knows I think that. So we're just stuck here trying to make the best of things. This is the best of things. Children dying of diseases. No. This is awful. Where is this wagon? Where can we find it? I can show you. It's supposed to be heading to a PD after coming up through Valentine, but it's been diverted south instead. Come on, Captain Monroe. M Mr. Morgan, we must act with due caution. Oh, we shall. We surely shall. Now come. Okay. I think I know a spot where we should be able to intercept it. Lead the way, Captain. <laughs> So, this Colonel Fabian, he knows you're up here helping these people? Yes, and no. He knows I'm here to produce a report on the situation. I was sent down from the north after all the news of unrest in the region. But I think my presence might be making things worse. What do you mean? I worry he's taking some of these actions more to protect himself now. 
can incite more retaliation, maybe he can prove a stronger defense. Well, like destroying that shrine. Yes, and taking their horses. I mean, I don't know if he personally sanctioned any of this or not. This is the other problem. There's a culture now in his regiment. The rot has traveled down the trunk. Okay. Well, just show me where to find this wagon, and I'll get the medicine for you. You don't need to be involved. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. But I must ask you, please be discreet. We cannot afford more conflict. Especially with Eagle Flies now in prison at Fort Wallace. I'm still hoping a meeting can be arranged between Rain's Fall and Colonel Favors. I understand. So I should drop the wagon back at the reservation? Oh, no. No, no, no. You only need to commandeer the back seat. Stealing those and an army wagon will only make matters much worse. Okay. You know, Babers has many flaws, but I don't believe he's callous. More an insecure man at the end of his career trying to cling on to something that's already gone. He fought for the Union in the war, and his record was considered far from illustrious. A failed man is often the most dangerous. Let's cut up this way. Sure. There's a nice vantage point up at the top here. Okay, let's dismount here. Best leave the horses back a bit. We'll have a good view over the road from this ledge. Now the wagon should come along this way. Okay. You're a good man, Mr. Morgan, but I fear this task to be a fool's errand. Well, firstly, I'm a long way from a good man. Secondly, fool's errands are my favorite kind of work. Fair enough. In that case... I can see we shall be great friends. <laughs> May I ask you a question? Of course. Why don't you just tell all the folk up in Washington what kind of an idiot Colonel Favors is and save us all a lot of bother? <laughs> uh, unfortunately, the government doesn't work quite like that. If you say so. There. I think that's the wagon. All right. Get yourself out of here. Just remember to keep it clean. Understand me? Don't worry. I'm as clean as they come. Hell, all I do is clean. Well... Good luck. I'll meet you back at the reservation. Try not to get yourself killed, Mr. Morgan. No, no, I, I can't promise.
Captain Monroe? I got the medicine. Oh, wonderful. That's great news, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, well, don't worry. It, uh, it didn't go too bad. Oh, I'll take your word for that. We could both swing for this. <laughs> yeah, well. I think I'm a little past caring about hanging, Monroe. Maybe. I just hope Colonel Favors thinks he was robbed by bandits and not... Oh, no, I'm still a bandit. There ain't no doubt about that. Of course. Well, I better get to work. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Bandit or not, this was a good thing. Maybe it'll get us both killed, but it had to be done. I hope so. Okay, then. Can't you see I'm tracking game here? Yeah. <laughs> 
There, girl. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, he ain't done yet, Abigail. Dutch seems... To have lost his mind? I know. Just be careful. I don't have to be careful. I... I have you as a friend. Dear sir, you were once very kind to Bo and myself, and it pains me to ask you to show us further kindness. But I have nowhere else to turn, and nobody else upon whom I can impose. I will, of course, pay you handsomely for your troubles. My family have turned quite mad and are threatening to send me away to stop my work, which they say is disgracing them. As if their history of absolute moral depravity, utter debauchery, and perpetual drunkenness did not disgrace them enough. I must escape, yet I am kept prisoner here. Can you help? Most days I am to be found at the cabins on the plantation. The main house and all it stood for are thankfully no more. Yours faithfully, Penelope Braithwaite. Feeling all right, Arthur? Damn mess, huh? You okay? <coughs> P. 
Ain't you? You sure? No, I ain't sure. You still working? Is anybody still working? The whole goddamn place full of people bickering, fighting, and lying. It makes me real sad. I know. I need someone to ride with me. Do what? Finish off them O'Driscolls. I hear the last of them is holed up at Hanging Dog Ranch. I don't have it in me no more. I saw a comb swing. I... I just don't care. I was a married woman. You know what they did to me. And to my husband? But you're the only one of these fools that I trust. I've got to do this. Tell you what, I'll do it. But there's something you could help me with. Abigail, Jack, John, make sure they make it. I mean, this whole thing is pretty much done. But when the time comes. Or how do you mean? When the time comes, you help them. What do you mean? I mean, help them escape. When I. You know, you and me. We're more ghosts than people, but them, they, they could... I know. Of course I will. Thank you, Arthur. You want to ride with me now, or meet me up at Hanging Dog Ranch when you can? <whistles> Thanks, Arthur. Okay, come on. <clears throat> Fine morning for a killing. Huh. Hey. You seen anything down there? Yeah, I think there's a bunch of them down there. I'm mostly drunk. But one of them is a fat fellow with a beard. Him? He's mine. Okay. It's a big ranch. Run down. Lots of folk there. But spread pretty thin. I'll set it off and then we'll, we'll take it from there. Take it from there? Okay. So, no real plan. Then. Oh, I got a plan. Now, come on. Is that a woman? Jesus. Who the hell is that lady? That's the Hellcat saw Combs swing. Come <laughs>
Okay. Yeah. He was a good man, my Jakey. We was always sweet on one another. I'm sure. Yeah. I miss him every day, every moment. Uh, they turned me into a monster, Arthur. But my memories of him, they still pure. I ain't even got that. Aside from my Jake, you're the best man I've known. I know the company you keep. The competition ain't too fierce. <laughs> we, uh, we should get away from her. I think I need to be alone for a bit. I understand. You, um, I want to get yourself cleaned up. Thank you, Arthur. Okay, girl. Yeah.
Hello, welcome back. Now, let me just look in here. Very nice. You know, a new stock on this could really improve it. Interested? Here you go. If any part of this weapon isn't to your like, we can change it right out. Maybe the frame or the barrel. Anything, really. Huh? Very nice. This is an excellent weapon. How would you feel about a new stock on this one? I could make one for you. This will keep you safe. Here you go. Was there something else you needed? Thanks, mister. Just telling my friend here about how I nearly died out there one night. Ooh, sounds like quite a tale. Here's an idea. Gunsmith's a friend. Pick out what you want and I'll pick up the tab. Hmm? It's Jenkins. Ooh, yes indeed. Anything for you, buddy. Anything. You are nothing if not generous. Well, he did save my life after all. I probably would have gotten it over. I said it so right. Hello there, pleased to see you. but you trapped your own damn self. You seeing you. Fair enough. Well, I gotta mow you. You take care of that leg. I will. I will. Okay, my girl.
manure all over the place. Josiah? I, um, I was, uh... Leaving again? Yes, just leaving. I'll see you soon. <coughs> Perhaps. Uh, what do you mean? Well, if I was you, I'd disappear too. This is all pretty much over. <laughs> well, I'll be back. No, you won't. Let's not pretend no more. Get out of here. I'll miss you, Arthur. You've been a fine friend to me. Oh, well, let's not get over sentimental. Well, the place is quiet. Get out of here. Go with my blessing. Thank you, Arthur. <sighs> Found a friend looking for you. Mr. Morgan. Sir. How are you? A little better. I hope so. How can I help you? I'm sorry to impose on you again, but I believe I've made progress brokering peace. You have? I believe so. Colonel Favors has agreed to a meeting to discuss and maybe resolve his alleged grievances and mine. Now, he has lied to me more times than I care to remember, but maybe this time he must want peace. Why could he possibly want to humiliate us further? Well, we got words for his kind, but... They're colloquial. Uh, perhaps I could make one last request. My men are not allowed to carry arms. You want us to keep the peace? Yeah, it'll be a lot of dull talking and ceremony. But I feel with some non-tribe members present, their chances of lying or worse will be reduced. Will you, Arthur? It ain't my business, brother. No, I know. But it is mine. Do it for me. Charles, I got... I've saved your life. Do it for me. <sighs> sure. Come on. You owe this man. You should have him do your negotiation. Let's go. for doing this, both of you. You have already done so much. Ain't a problem. Just hope nobody recognizes me. I've had a few run-ins with the army recently. I wish we could have done more to control the situation. That shouldn't have gotten involved. Now Eagle flies us under arrest. It certainly won't help our case today. I will find a way to help him. I promise you. I just hope Colonel Favors can be reasoned with. I am not asking for very much, but when our people are sick and hungry, and we find our medicine and supplies are being... ...deliberately withheld, how can we not view that as something personal? When they destroy our sacred sites, how can I convince Eagle Flies and the others that they shouldn't fight back? Maybe that's part of the reason they're doing these things. Because they want you to fight. To be able to say, look, <coughs> you see how these savages behave? Perhaps. Thank you for helping Captain Monroe to retrieve those vaccines, Arthur. He will be at the meeting and is one person who knows the true situation, at least. I still have hope that we can come to an agreement.
ahead. Hello. Whoa. This way. Colonel Favors, Captain Munro, we come in peace. Hello again. Who are these two? They're uh, friends of my people. Hmm. Interesting looking fellows. Yeah, they won't cause any trouble. Well, I should hope not. Yeah. Listen, Mr. Um... <clears throat> Chief. Yeah. Yes, uh, Mr. I can't say that silly name. In English, they call me Rain's Fall. Yes, yes, I'm mine. Uh, I'm sure they do. Listen, we're all Americans here, and we want an outcome. But quite frankly, quite frankly, I am confused. Your men are little more than criminals, in my opinion. Keep breaking peace treaties we've made causing disturbances in everybody's lives. But I pride myself on being a gentleman. Really, I do. But there are limits. So let me be very... Are you okay, man? Someone. Jackson, take him away. Where was I? You're a gentleman with limits? Are you being facetious, sir? Come this way, buddy. I said... Are you being facetious, Captain Monroe? No, sir, I am not. Chief Rains. That's, uh, <gasps> Rains fall. Exactly. Chief Rains, the thing it's is... It's quite a cough. Sure. Wait right here. Situation. I'll fetch you some water. I'll, I'll be fine. Thank you. No, no. You know he's going to have Monroe court-martialed. Or attempt to. He's going to make a disgrace of him. Monroe? He seems likable enough for a West Pointer. Why? You know what Favors is like. Because he thinks it's right. Because he thinks Monroe is a patsy. Or a spy. He's convinced he had something to do with those vaccines getting stolen. He thinks Monroe is going to force him into making a concession with the Indians. So he removes Monroe. Removes how? Favors wants him tried for treason. And hanged. Why does Favors care about the Indians? Because he doesn't want to back down. I mean, his whole professional life. You know what they say about him. Hightail Favors. The man who missed a battle. Poor Monroe. Kind of liked him. I know. Well, still, he's kind of stuck up. Your men violated the treaty. That treaty is null and void. I have been appointed to negotiate... Feeling better? Yeah. Come on. <coughs> Let's go. <coughs> the lands you currently occupy belong to the United States government. Why is this so confusing, sir? Why? Good day, Colonel Favors. Well, that was remarkably unproductive. <coughs> so I'm afraid the federal government was quite clear, Colonel, that it wanted peace, and peace for all. And that the treaty had not been broken by anybody. Oh, well, is that so, sir? And did it want impudence, sir, from a junior officer in public? Was that its plan, too, sir? You insult me. You insult the regiment. Arrest this man. Arrest me? Gross insubordination. Disobeying an order. Treason. 
Are you mad? You had those vaccines stolen. You disrupted a negotiation. Let him go. This is all getting out of hand. Hi, right. Captain Monroe, let's get out of here. Hi, if I... I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut, amigo. I don't want to kill this man, but shall kill you. Charles, Captain Monroe, mount up now. We're getting out of here. Get off me! do now you get out of here fast I'll take you to the station I can't believe that just happened I've been an army man my whole life I heard them talk they was gonna have you hang for treason you can't die for those fools and what about the chief we'll do what we can I guess I won't be submitting my report I wouldn't think so Get out of here. 
here, Captain Monroe? I fear it may be Mr. Monroe from now on. I'm sorry about your career. Here. Here's some money. You take it and get out of here and start a new life somewhere. I hear Tahiti's nice. Thank you. Just hop on a train to San Denis, jump on a boat, but avoid Guam. Where? Forget about it. Meet me at the reservation. Hmm? <coughs> Reverend? Reverend. What are you doing here? I'm... I'm leaving. Running away? I suppose so, yes, I'm running away. I tried to make Dutch see sense, but he's... He's very strange recently. And the women? Little Jack? You leaving them? I told them to run too. I asked them to come with me, but they wouldn't. I'm changed. I'm a changed man, Arthur. I, I can't die for a bunch of nonsense sprouted by a fool. I understand. You're... Well, you're, you're not a good man, Arthur, but you're not all bad, either. Everything will be... Your journey, your path will be just fine. I'm worried my path is coming to an end, Mr. Swanson. Maybe. I've felt that way for a long time about myself, I mean, but, but you'll do what's right. I don't know about that. I do. Save who you can and let the rest rot. And look after yourself. Maybe. We'll see. You do see. You just can't quite admit it to yourself. All aboard! Be well, Reverend. All aboard! You too, Arthur? Sure. Good luck out there. You lived your life like a man, Arthur, and you turned into a good man. If we were all like you, things might have turned out differently. You're getting mighty sentimental, Reverend. There we go.
Hello, Charles. Thank you for coming. Of course. The chief, he's, uh... He's very... Maybe you could speak to him? Yes, that's why I came. He's in his tent. Joe, I'll wait for you here. Come in. <clears throat> Mr. Morgan, I'm so glad you could make it. How are you? My son. My son is foolish, but he's still my son. I know your son. A little. Huh? He's very brave. Very angry. <laughs> he's mean. How is your father? He's dead a long time. He lived a lot longer than was good for any of us. My son probably wishes the same to me. <laughs> I doubt that. I want peace. I need my people to be safe. All my life I've tried to bring peace. But I love my son. They'll hang him for treason. Treason. He is the chief son of a proud nation. How could he commit treason? People who have lied to my people for a hundred years or more, that's treason. Well. What should I do? I don't think there's much chance reasoning with Colonel Favors. No. And any chance we had, your friend, Mr. Vanderland, has ensured relations between us and the Army are worse than any point in the last five years. I'm sure he means well. But matters are more complex than he understands. Me and Charles will try and rescue your son. No. Yes, yes. I ain't got much to lose, and you got... I'm doing this. Charles! Where are you? Come on, let's go. We need to get his son back, of course. I just ain't sure how. I've been working on that. I think there's a way. Follow me. I've been scouting the fort. The army are patrolling all the main roads and bridges in and out, but if we can get the horses across the river, I found a route that should get us in fairly close. If we wait until late enough, there's a place we should be able to sneak in around the back. Okay, whatever you think. I trust you. No guns, just knives and arrows. If we start making a lot of noise, he'll be dead before we get close to him. Okay. I left two canoes down river, in case we need another way out of there. Okay, good. <laughs> <coughs> you know, this wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for Dutch. It ain't just on Dutch. We all went along with it. He saw Eagle Flies burn hot, and he fanned the flames. He's not helping that tribe, he's helping himself. You see that? Or you wouldn't have gone to Rain's fall behind his back. I guess I just keep thinking. 
There must be a way to save the situation. To pull Dutch out of the place he's in. Well, I like Rain's Fall. I don't know, Arthur. Rain's Fall is in a tough situation. And that's for Dutch. <sighs> I gotta try. I own that at least. You feel that? There's rain on the wind. I know. Listen, Charles. If it goes bad in there, you get yourself out. You got more to lose. No. Come on. Don't start talking like that. Uh, I didn't tell you before, but... I saw it, Doc. It's pretty bad. It's gonna get worse. Oh, Arthur. Any day we can die. Hmm? We're riding to break an Indian chief's son out of a cavalry fort. We could both die tonight. In a way, it is a gift to know. In a way, you are lucky. Sure don't feel like that. You still have time to make amends. The others, Hosea, Lenny, Sean, all of them. They didn't. And what about the Calendar boys? Both killed trying to escape Blackwater? A more vicious pair of bastards than ever was. And that's all they ever were and will be. Maybe. You're lucky. You got the chance to... to do something better. My guess is maybe that's why you're here now. Either way, just keep your head strong. We're close now. Are you all right? Yeah, I think so. That current's strong. Up here. Follow me. Uh, you were right about the damn rain. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But might help us with sneaking in there. The rain's fall told me there was some retaliation after the meeting with Colonel Favors. Some women were taken. Elders beaten. Bastards. Yeah. This isn't gonna be nice. There it is. All right. This should be fun. Let's get ourselves hidden and wait till it gets dark. Over here. I guess this is it. I guess it is. Let's keep quiet. I'm trying to find a way in. Main thing is that they don't hear us. You ready? Group. Hopefully we'll be in and out before they can come back around. Come on. Let's deal with those two at the gate first. You take one, I'll take the other. He's moving. Come on. Good. Let's keep moving. Stop. Wait. Slow. We got two more ahead. One down here, one up in the tower. Let's take one each again. Good. It's a bit further on here.
This is the spot. need to waste an arrow on him. Use your knife. Try to put an arrow into the lantern above that stack of wood over there. Start a fire. You should have a clear shot from the walkway up there. Morgan? Charles? Is that you? Look for the keys. You have to get me out of here. We're gonna get you out. I'll check the table, Arthur. You search the body. Got him. Your father sent us. My father? He told you to come and kill guards? No, he didn't say that, he... Of course not. You okay? Sure. Enjoy being tortured. Clears the mind. If you say so. Uh, whoa, whoa. Uh, I'm fine, I'm fine.
lost him. Come on. <coughs> you okay, Arthur? Yeah, I'm right as rain. How are you? <clears throat> I'll be fine in a day or so. I heal fast. Colonel Favors won't be too happy for your rescue. I guess not. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot more trouble. My father, even he may have to fight. You won't win. No big fight with them. Shouldn't y'all just run away? Where would we go? I don't know. In front, let me take you back to your father. Hmm? <sighs> Thank you. No mention. Yeah! 